This is my quickly rigged up water collection system, rainwater collection. As I say, it was quickly rigged up. Used everything available. We had a big rainstorm coming the other day and I wanted to collect some water. I've been sick of carrying jugs of water back and forth. We're taking this tank to the creek to fill it up. So I took a hose that I had laying around. You can use a milk jug for a funnel. Some plastic siding. This is some corner pieces from some siding. Goes all the way up to some metal sheets that are up on the top of the trailer. All held together. Again, very quickly assembled. They use baling wire. But the thing is very effective. I just caught... I filled this tank two and a half times in just three days from the rain we've had. I've taken two 40 foot long sheets of metal and laid it up on top of the trailer. I screwed them together. I didn't want to modify the trailer. I didn't want to put rain gutters on it or put any more holes in it. The thing had enough leaks as it was when I first got it. So I laid these sheets of metal up. They extend over the back of ways and they extend over the front. So if I ever need to move this, if I had rain gutters on the front and the back, I'd also have to ex raise up the trim along the roof to hold water. And I really don't like the idea of holding water on my roof. And then the water would have to run off the front and the back and collect on rain gutters along here on both ends of the trailer and then meet in the middle. So I didn't like that idea. So I found these sheets laying out here in the, in the forest. Nothing wrong with them. Galvanized steel. I checked it out on the internet. Galvanized is okay. And it comes down here to a little piece of actual rain gutter. It only cost me five dollars for a ten foot sheet of rain gutter. I only needed three foot, but that comes to a piece of siding corner trim. I have two of these bundled together to make it long enough. And that's just suspended here with a, a board and some bailing wire. And I ran that down. This whole system runs down along the side of the trailer into my storage tank. And when it rains hard here, I fill that tank in five or ten minutes. So this is more effective than I expected. And it rains here a lot, so I don't think I'll have to suffer for water.